In Oconee County, the sheriff has just identified the man who deputies were looking for, a suspect in a case where someone tried to ram the gate at the Oconee nuclear plant this happened last night. Peyton Furtado has brand new information now. The Oconee County Sheriff's Office is looking for this man and they need your help. This is 66 year old Doyle Wayne Wisenhunt. He's wanted on weapons and drug charges out of Arkansas. And last night, Oconee County Sheriff's Office says that he might have tried to break into a nuclear power plant. Around 8 Thursday night, deputies say a 2002 silver Toyota Camry drove through a gate at the Oconee Nuclear Station. The station can power up to 1.9 million homes, according to Duke Energy, who also says the facility is highly secure. Sheriff Mike Crenshaw had a news conference this afternoon and said the plant is safe. So they've got more security officers than I've got deputies probably, you know, working there. We, we've never had an issue at Duke Power in my, in my 37 years as far as inside with an intruder. Officials tell us security barriers stopped the driver who backed up, drove down a dirt road, and then drove through a fence while attempting to hit a security officer. The driver then made his escape, pulling off on a piece of property on Jones Mill Road, where the property owner fired warning shots to get him off the property. Wisenhunt's vehicle was found less than a mile away this afternoon in Six Mile. He is not believed to be a terrorist threat, Sheriff Mike Crenshaw in Oconee County says, but he might be under the influence and he might be armed and dangerous. If anyone sees Mr. Wisenhunt, do not approach him. Call law enforcement immediately. As of now, SLED, the FBI, and the Oconee and Pickens County Sheriff's offices are searching for Wisenhunt, who may still be on the run. He could be charged with trespassing, malicious injury to property, and attempted murder. In Oconee County, Peyton Furtado, WYFF News 4.